Welcome everybody, my name is Coach Borino. I'm your coach, advisor, your friend, your guide to help you. And today specifically we're going to talk about new agents getting up and running quickly. Now if you've been at it for three, four, five, six years and you're not making two, three hundred thousand dollars, two, three hundred thousand dollars this year or next year, you're in the right place because a lot of what we're going to talk about means some of these ideas and strategies I'm going to give you today are not implemented properly. Something is off in your business. That's the bad news. The good news is you can fix it. The good news is you can implement the stuff I'm going to share with you because friends, before we get started with the practical things, let me tell you a secret about your coach Borino. I have no special talents. I have no special abilities, no special skills. There, I have no gifts. I had to figure stuff out the hard way, piece by piece. A lot of it didn't work. A lot of it I had to toss out because it was bad. It didn't work. It didn't produce the clients and the money I wanted. But I figured it out. So today I'm going to share with you how you can get up and running quickly. It started with this. Hey, welcome. Bunch of people checking in. Let's say hello. Grace is here. Mandy. Grace, nice to see you. Travis. Harlambus. Amissary, Jason, Shelley, Jacqueline. Welcome, you guys. All right, so let's get started. It started with this question here on Rockstar from Nate, who says, when you become a new agent, straight of an assembly line, how did you go about starting? I don't have much to put in my realtor page. Well, I've listed, sold property, and I did three clicks and sent 100 postcards and so on and so on. But how do we get started? I see other agents getting houses listed, yet here I am struggling to get one. We'll fix that, Nate. I promise you, by the time we finish, you will know what to do. I constantly call fizzballs or rental signs and get nowhere. I'm just wondering how many of you got started. Well, everybody at one point was a brand new agent. Everybody was where you are, Nate, today. Overwhelmed, kind of stressed, confused, because let's be honest, this business can be really complicated at times. True? It's be, it can be pretty crazy at times. It is confusing, and it's changing all the time. New technologies, new rules, new laws. So you got to keep up. So whether you've been at it for 5, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, you got to still keep up. Now, if you're brand new, that's both good news and bad news. Let me tell you why. I was talking to my wife, Hannah, this morning. We were sitting in our living room and we're discussing this new book. It is about mindset, the power of subconscious mind. And we were talking how it is interesting how today to get information is easy. I mean, think about it. I'm coming to you from my home office, from our secret Borino headquarters, just outside of Washington, D.C. I'm, I can broadcast this, and we are broadcasting this to YouTube, to Facebook, to the world. Straight out of my house. This 10, 15 years ago would cost tens of thousands of dollars. It would be impossible. To read the book we were discussing this morning, 10 years ago, you would have to go to a library. You have to go to a bookstore. You have to find it. And if it's out of print, you have to order it. You, then you have to, first, you have to know about it to begin with. Then order it, then get it, or hopefully get it from a library and read it. Today, all you have to do is flip up your Kindle or your iPad. I love to read on my iPad. Load the book, read, share it with somebody else. I can highlight, I can look up stuff. It is the easiest time to get information. You can go on YouTube and literally, I'm not kidding you guys, test this when we finish. You can go on YouTube and look up a video how to build rockets. Literally, rocket science is on YouTube for you to learn and enjoy. Real estate? Hell, there are thousands. I mean. I personally have, what, five, six hundred videos on real estate, helping you how to get leads, how to close deals, how to make money, all that stuff. It is easy. Getting information is easy, but that's also the problem. There's just so much of it. And here's the worst part. Much of it is conflicting. Some people tell you, never do this. Some people tell you, oh, always do that. Some people tell you, oh, don't do blogs. Some people say, write blogs. Some people say, don't do video. Do video. Say this. Don't say that. No wonder you guys are confused. No wonder it's overwhelming. It's too much. It's too much information. Very often from people who either never sold a house, we know one or two trainers like that, or people who don't know how to teach you, who may be good at the craft, but are not very good at breaking something so complex and difficult as real estate is, let's be honest, it's not exactly the easy business to be in. Break it down and teach you so you go, oh, okay, I get it, I can do this. So my goal today is to take it and break it down. So by the time we're done, we're going to spend about an hour today, right? I have my cappuccino. So if you can give me an hour, I promise you will walk away inspired. I promise you will walk away 
with more knowledge, practical knowledge, but also what to do with it. Because knowing stuff is one thing. Knowing stuff and actually, <clears throat> excuse me, implementing it, doing something with it, can be something very different. Cool, Ruby? So I got some notes. I'm actually prepared, check me out. I take this seriously. I want to succeed. I want you to succeed. I want you to do well. Nate and everybody else, I want you to get clients, get business, make money. I really do. Yes, I have a company to run and yes, I need your success so that you can buy my training and buy my books and my systems and sign up for my bootcamp. I'm doing the Fizzball bootcamp. You should be there. No excuses. I want that, but I cannot sell you anything unless you succeed. Without your success, I'm screwed. So don't you fail on me, all right? So let's get started. Now, of course, if you have questions, post them. I'm monitoring the questions here. Eric is excited. Thanks for all you do, says Eric. Well, Eric, I appreciate that. Was used to thank you. Carolina checking in. Leslie. So I appreciate the nice comments. Nice to see you, Grace. Thanks for saying hello. So let me give you the founding foundation founders from Founder Barrio. <laughs> you will not figure it all out, at least not right away. So this desire, I need to learn the business, I need to figure it all out, I need to know all the details about marketing, communication, real estate, contracts, marketing, the properties, getting properties sold. Don't even try. You are not only setting yourself up for failure, you're gonna feel exhausted, confused, and most importantly, you'll be broke. So better, where you've been at it for a month, or a year, or 10 years, or 30 years, or like me, Jesus, I started in, shit, 1645, way back. Because everything is changing, don't try to figure it all out at once. Focus on what matters the most, the one thing that matters the most. Focus on stuff that matters the most. And today I'm gonna to give you only three or four that matter the most, right now. Right now, if you're either starting and need to get going, build the momentum, start making some money, get, get some traction going, or if you really want to boost your career, if you really need to 2020, you just boom, knock it out of the park. So let's get cranking. Step one, focus on three things first. Remember when I said first things first, here they are. Work, work number one. It's going to take work. It's going to take work. It's going to take good old fashioned work. So people who are blowing smoke up your ass, telling you that all you have to do is post some Facebook ads, and leads will just stream to you and they will turn magically into cash are full of shit. They either trying to sell you some snake oil or they don't know what they're talking about, sometimes both. So work is number one. You are gonna work. Number two, learn as you go. Combine it, learning. And number three, keep building. Built. So it's a three part process. You work. That means there is no part where you just sit back and say, I got to learn this first before I implement. No, it all happens all at the same time. You're working while you're learning, while you're building your business. And this process never stops. The only thing that's going to get easier, the workload will get a little easier because once you have 50, 80, $100,000 a year budget to run your business, you can put some more money into marketing and advertising and staff. Does that make sense? So it's always a three part process. You work while you learn, while you build. Those two never separate, or those three never separate. You're constantly learning, constantly improving, learning, building, growing your company, growing your business, because in fact, you're running your own company. This is your shop. This is Nate Incorporated. This is uh, John Incorporated. This is Iris Incorporated, Grace Incorporated. That's your company. Yes, you work on an umbrella of your broker in most cases, but it's still your shop. So work, 100%, learn, 100%, and build 100%. Always keep building it. Always keep growing it. Yeah? You with me? Those are the three factors. Work, learn, build. All right. So that's part one. Part two. Whoops. All right. Here we go. Are you with me so far? Yes? All right. Now, the number one priority for you if you're not making money that you want to make, or if you're starting out, the number one focus that you spend 50% of your time, effort, focus, and money is lead generation. That's the number one priority. There is nothing more important than lead generation. Number one priority, master lead generation. All the rock stars, all the people 
making a lot of money. All the people who are successful, living their lifestyle, driving the Benz, wearing nice clothes, owning nice properties, income properties, investment properties, all those people, every single one of them is at that point where they mastered lead generation. Now there are about 48, 49 ways you can generate leads. There are many methods, but they break down into two categories and it's important for you guys to know the difference. There is active lead gen, active, I should switch. I'm ambidextrous, you know, I can write with both hands. Both are shitty. I can't, because I'm left-handed. And as you know, I grew up in communist Czechoslovakia and they forced us to write with our right hand. That's old-fashioned teaching, you know, in 1800s. <laughs> so I can switch back and forth, but I can't read it. So forgive me for my terrible writing. But there are active methods, active lead generation methods, and there are passive, passive methods, okay? They're both good, they both work. They both have pros and cons. As a new agent, your focus, majority of your focus needs to be on active. And there's a reason for that. Number one, it's definitely less expensive. So let me give you an example. When you go in a forest with a gun, you're hunting. That's an active method. When you're sitting on the shore with a line in the water, hoping for a fish, that's passive. You're waiting for something to happen first. Now, remember I said there are two ways you can uh, generate leads, active and passive. passive. Active is where you take charge. Like, hey, good job, you're calling Fizzbos. We need to tweak your approach. There is something that's not working. Clearly, you need to be converting seven out of 10 for sale by owners list with an agent. So if you're calling them and they're not listing with you, something is broken, but it's a system, it's a process we can fix. That's an active method, working expired listings, active method. Going out there, promoting your open house, passing out some flyers, active method, really good. Passive method would be running an ad on Facebook. Where are you hoping somebody's gonna see your ad, somebody's gonna respond to your ad, click something, give you contact information that you can follow up with. Make sense? So you don't wait passively. Majority of your time, 70% of your time, focus and energy need to be spent on active. Here is why. You are in control, systems are inexpensive and pretty simple. Something like working Fizzbos, it's not that complicated. Working expired listings doesn't require 27 steps, 14 different plugins and systems, and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Very simple. It's only a four step process. Not that complicated. But here's the best part. You control how many people you reach out to, when you're gonna work them, and based on even just a couple, three, four weeks of doing it, you can start building business models. Because you can start projecting, well, if I, reach out to 10 expired listings, I talk to four, out of those four, two become leads. And now I can build on that. And I need, let's just say, and I'm just making the numbers up based on some of, somewhat of my performance, I need 10 expired leads to turn one into a listing. So now I can project, what do I have to do to achieve my goals? I can build that in into a plan. It's much harder with passive, because you never really know how many people are going to see your ad, how many people are going to click on it, how many people are going to respond, what kind of quality leads. Here's another problem. What I teach you, active methods target HPLs, very important, high probability leads. High probability, you can find them. You can find Fizzbos right now. You can find expireds right now. Easy. If you do not a good open house this weekend, the 15, 20 people who come in are potentially good leads. They want to do something. Those are easy. Are you with me? So high probability leads, active marketing, that means people who want to do something now, who are in the process now. The reason I say stay away from passive methods, because many of these will generate long-term leads. They're going to take some time to convert. It's going to take some time to nurture, to build a relationship, and for them to be ready. Sometimes it can be a year, sometimes a year and a half, two years. I used to door knock a lot. Many of those leads were good. I built nice connection, good relationship with them. But boy, did it take forever to convert them. Does that make sense? So. Here, you're trading dollars. Here, you're trading work plus time. Effort plus time. So if you have a budget, you know, you can put a couple thousand dollars in fancy Facebook ads. Nothing wrong with that. But here's the thing. All of these require for you to learn it. Facebook is not just something you're going to sit down, design an ad, boom, it's done. Especially now with these new rules and laws and lots of restrictions, you really need to know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're just flushing money down the drain. Second, don't just measure it by leads. You're going to hear, especially companies who run Facebook marketing, and the reason I know that we get approached by them all the time. This many leads and that many leads and this. Bottom line is this, my friends. 
it's going to be the dollars generated, transactions generated, that at the end will determine whether the campaign works or not. Okay? So now, focus 70% of your time on active lead generation for sale by owners, expired listings, work in your sphere of influence. I'm going to give you more uh, tips how to do that, but this should be your funnels. Work in open houses. Open houses is a terrific, inexpensive way of getting your name out there, meeting some neighbors, promoting the open house, and then people who come in, building relationships, developing your skills. Remember, you're always learning. I'm going to teach you or show you the things you need to be learning. All right. So now, work plus time or dollars? What are you willing to invest? Focus on the now business, not a year from now. You don't want to waste too much time and effort and money on people who will be ready a year from now, two years from now, maybe. Work people who are in the process doing it now. And number three, talk to everybody. Talk to everybody. And there are reasons for that. According to the United States Census Bureau, 12% of Americans will move in 2020. It's been pretty consistent. The number hasn't changed much over the last seven or eight years. So about 12% of the population will move. If you talk to 100 people, there's a good chance 12 of those are contemplating a move within 2020, within the next 12 months, next year. That's a great opportunity to start building connection, start building relationship with them, talk to everybody. Second thing you're going to accomplish is you're going to master the art of communication. In spite of all the texting videos and media and social media and all that we have at our disposal, which is fantastic, I love it, I'm using it right now, right? Real estate is still a people business, always will be a people business. One human being helping another human being. And if that human being is cool and helpful and resourceful, that human being is going to make a lot of money. And if that human being even masters technology, masters marketing and advertising, even better. But the core of it, because even if you do Facebook, even if you do direct mail, if you do online, whatever you do, there still comes a point where that human being needs to trust you, needs to like you and connect with you. And if they don't, you can have the most fanciest, most aggressive, most elaborate and effective marketing and advertising. If you can convert that lead into a prospect and a client, you don't have a business. Does that make sense? So now, remember I said you've got to learn. So what you got to learn are skills. And you got to be very honest how good you are at these things because it's precisely these skills that will determine your income. This business is not based on talent, no matter what people tell you. It is all based on a skill. That can be good news, that can be bad news. Depends how you look at it. Is this helpful so far? Is this helping you? Oh, Jason, I like that, Colin. Thank you for saying that. That's very kind of you. Jason says, getting some treadmill work done and while listening to the master speaking of people who come through an open house what would you sound like trying to get their contact information i'm going to tell you in just a moment jason good question please sit tight i promise you i'll answer it but thank and thanks for the nice comments so now there are one two three four skills you absolutely must master must master must master must master in order for you to crush it skill number one communication 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 is your number one asset. I have, there was an agent. When I started working expired listings, this was, I covered the Southern California area, Pico Rivera, Whittier, uh, Downey, that part of Los Angeles, suburbs of Los Angeles. And there was an agent from Century 21 named Lorenzo who would come sometimes to my area, especially if it was a good expired listing. And this dude would show up in a yellow Lamborghini yellow garado, brum, brum, you know, like you can hear it like a mile away that had beautiful rumbling sound that I just hate it. All right, here comes Lorenzo and I mean to the T decked out. The dude was making money and he was successful. Nice watch, Armani suit, tall, handsome, late 20s, speaking Spanish, you name it, he's got it, including the car. Picture a Czechoslovakian immigrant next to him in, I don't think they're around anymore, Mervyn's was a local department store that sold inexpensive suits, so I bought a $50 suit. I had my cheap shoes that I, th I think even Goodwill or somewhere, I don't even remember. Simple business card, one of those black and white business cards, right? So Lorenzo, Lambo, Armani, Borino, cheap suit, right? Of course, logically, he's got everything going for it. 
And yet I would take the listings. Even in my fucking $50 shitty suit. Why? You know the secret? I asked the seller. I asked several times when we were going up against each other, I would say, you picked me and I very much appreciate it and I promise I won't let you down. I'll work my ass off for you. We'll get this done. You will never regret it. But tell me, really, you had a chance and choice to, to list with this guy in the fancy car and everything. He says, yeah, the car is fancy. It's all impressive. But we trusted you more. You were more passionate. You were more upbeat. You were more committed. You were more on fire. Like we could really tell that you had our interest at heart. So how did I do that? Now, of course, I believed in myself first. I had the confidence. But it was the communication. That was the secret. Not fancy marketing and advertising. But Lorenzo would show up with Homes and Land magazine, one of those glossy, sleek color magazines. It would have a full spread there. I mean, the dude got it together. Nice presentation and all. And yet my communication somehow always beat him. Not always, but most of the time. Communication. Work on that daily. Work on that skill daily. The better you become at communicating authentically. We're not talking memorizing scripts. We're not talking about delivering clever lines and closes. We're talking asking the right question and really listening, being connected to that person, making them feel the most important in the world, really paying attention to what they're trying to do, asking questions that really matter, having, giving them a chance to tell you what is it that they want, what is it they're trying to do. Amazing skill that you can develop. But remember what I keep saying, it's a skill. It's a skill. I learned it. At the beginning, I sounded like Borat. I sounded ridiculous. I talked too much. I was reciting scripts because that's what I was told. Until I discovered there's, there is an easier, better way. Not to mention people respond to it better and it's fun. It's easier because there, are no, there is no pressure. There, 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 there are no shenanigans. Influence? Yes. Control? Absolutely. Confidence? Totally. But as a decent human being, not a pushy salesman. So that's number one. Number two. Mindset is a skill. Mindset. This business will slap you around, man like a wet rug in the wind. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It can knock the wind out of you. All you have to do is spend 20 minutes on Facebook reading about the news and politics, about the weather, about the economy. Open the newspaper, turn on the news, 6 o'clock CNN. How happy is that? How good does that feel right before dinner, getting all that shit in your face? Agents who struggle, just listen to their talk. It can drag you down like an anchor. So you must develop and maintain, just like a muscle when you work out, a skill of positive, passionate, upbeat mindset. That seller who picked uh, me over Lorenzo, one of the things they always mentioned, it, can, it was very consistent, you are always upbeat and passionate. It is not something you're born with. By default and by entropy, you're going to get sucked down. You're going to get pulled down because most people don't like when you succeed. Most people don't want you to succeed. They mean well only to the level where they're at because they have regrets, they have fears, they have insecurities. And if they see you sky uh, climbing towards the sky, they're just going to go yank, put you right down. So your task and your skill you must develop is a positive mindset. Putting stuff in that matters, that makes you feel better, that makes you feel stronger, more confident. That means watching good videos, listening to podcasts, listening to me. I am Mr. Positive. They sometimes call me the Tony Robbins of real estate. I very much appreciate that because I understand how important it is to have the right mindset, the right set of beliefs where you may say, well, I'm not uh, very experienced. I've been at it for only a short period of time and I don't know all the answers, but boy, am I fired up about it. Am I passionate about it? Do I really know that I can deliver a good job for my clients and I can get shit done for them? I'm going to go to battle for them and I'm going to work my ass off for them. And I'm going to find people who will appreciate the fact that even though I'm, I may be new, they will still trust me enough and they will see that they're in good hands with me because I will not let them down. That's the mindset. Believing that there's plenty of money. We have more millionaires today than we ever had before. And new ones are coming on board every single day. Why not you? Fuck this $100,000, $150,000 a year. Go for a million. Go for two. Think big. There is so much around you. 5.4 million transactions closed this year. And you're telling me you can't close 50 of them? Get the fuck out of here. I'm here to help you. I'm going to give you the systems and the knowledge and skill. Come do the boot camp with me. The registration closing by Thursday. Jump on it. It's 197 bucks a month. Come on. It's easy. I will teach you how to do physical step by step. Piece of cake. 
Not that hard, not that complicated. Will it require work? Yeah, of course. But you can do that. You know what I'm saying? So learn. Go to goborin.com slash fizzball, check it out. So that's the number two. Number three, skill number three. This is one of the most important ones, and that is knowing the market. Being a market expert, knowing your stuff. You must know the market. You must know this is a good school district. Homes in this area are about 20 years old. They sell in about 60 days. Price range in that area is about 350 to about 475. You must know all that. You must know the market. That means you preview daily. You study not just active listings, new, new properties coming on the market, properties that never sold. You need to know why hasn't that one sold? Why is it that this property, three bedroom, three bath, sold for 375? Three bedroom, three bath, same size, same everything, sold for 360. Why is there a $15,000 difference? You must know. That means you must study the market. You must be an expert. Two things will happen with that. One, of course, you will come across this authority, which is important, confident authority. You know what you're talking about. And number two, you're going to develop a skill. So authority is number one. And number two, confidence. So as you're talking to that for sale by owner, as you're talking to... Uh, the expired listing who says, you know that house around the corner? And you say, yeah, yeah, the one on Oak Street. That was on the market for two months, sold for $4.45. It was not as nice as yours, slightly bigger though. And it was on the market for less than two months. Instant authority, you know what I'm talking about. So now I'm an authority speaking with confidence. I never have to tell the seller, I know my shit. I'm really good at what I do, I'm hot shit. And you never say, I'm different. These things come across immediately when you deliver this kind of communication to the seller. So, knowing the market, authority, I'm writing fast and terribly, and confidence. Your confidence is one of the most important skills, one of the most important qualities you must develop. If you lose listings, if you lose clients, the number one reason, it is not about commission. It is not about commission, not years in a business. They felt you were not confident enough. You were not their best choice. That's the truth. All right? Now, skill number four. Managing your time. Managing your time. Because we don't have any boss. We don't have a manager. We don't have a supervisor. You can do whatever you want. That's the good news and the bad news. So you must develop a discipline to put these things we talked about, lead generation number one, on your calendar and then have the discipline and the focus and the determination to follow that schedule, to stay with it, to tweak it, adjust what's working, do more of what's working, jettison what doesn't work, and focus solely on the stuff that's generating money, that's generating revenue for your company. So you ask yourself, here we are on Monday. So, on Sunday, you sit down and says, what do I have to do over the next seven days to move the needle towards my goals? What will get me there the fastest? What are things I need to focus on? And then you plan your week. Then this morning, every morning, you ask yourself, what do I have to do today to get one new prospect, one new good lead? You with me? What do I have to do? What needs to go on my calendar first? What do I need to build into my schedule first, second, third? And what do I have to stay away from? What distractions, mind fields, time zappers, mental zappers do I need to stay away from to stay on track? That's going to require some discipline and some skill to be able to plan it and then follow it. How good are you? If you're not a rock star, if you're not at 10, you've got to fix it immediately. All right. So number one, we talked about focus number one needs to be on lead generation. Develop three or four good lead generation funnels, high probability leads. That's number one. Number two, develop skills. There are four skills you got to focus on. Communication, role play practice, mindset, positive mindset. What you put in is what you get out. Knowing your market, being the authority and being confident. And number four, your time, managing your time. Then there is the third part to this that you need to have in place as a new agent or an agent who needs to now, for those of you guys who've been at it for a while, who've been with me for a while, if you're honest and if you say, well, Barino, this year hasn't been stellar, the reason it hasn't been stellar is right there on the board. The things I just showed you, 
one or more of those you suck at. Oh, that's kind of a rude thing to say. Do you want me to lie to you? You want to blow smack up your ass? That's the truth. Where do you suck? Communication? Possibly. Lead generation? Possibly. Time management? Or you don't know the market well enough. You don't come across as off confident authority. Which one is it? Now I can help you with all these. These are all just narrow systems. Okay, so the last one is you need to master your follow-up. Your follow-up. Master your follow-up. So you have these two systems going at the same time. You're generating leads, you're feeding your database. That means you have one central place. There's one big box where all those funnels that you have set up, expired listings for sole by owners, sphere of influence, open houses, all of them are feeding the leads into one depository, which is your CRM. One of the number one question we get asked here on Rockstars all the time is, which CRM should I use? What's the best CRM? There are plenty of them out there. And they will all do pretty much the same thing, which is fine, pick one. You can look into LionDesk, you can look into Realty Juggler, you can look into iExact Contact, Follow Up Boss, uh, Top Producer, there's a million of them. Don't overthink it. But you do need one central housing database where all of these will go. And then it's just a matter of keeping in touch. During the process of follow-up, few things will happen. You will qualify your leads. Where will become prospects? You're starting a relationship with them. Building trust. And you qualify. So that way you know, this lead will be ready in two months. These guys will be ready in six months. These will be ready next week. And you keep in touch. During the process of repetition, through your follow-up, using your CRM, you start building relationships, setting up appointments. That's the secret. Most of your appointments will come from your follow-up in your contact management system. It's as simple as that. All right? Now, final thing I'm going to give you. As a new agent, should you put together a nice letter and send to your sphere, hey, I just got my real estate license. Come, let me help you sell your house. Do not do it. Don't do that. Bad idea. Imagine you get a letter from your best friend Joe who says, hey, just wanted to let you know that uh, I finished my medical school and I'm now a dentist. Come, let me do your root canal. No. Would you go to a brand new dentist who's never done it before? Of course not. I'm not saying you should hide and pretend you're not new. Never. But I'm saying don't trumpet it to the world and don't hope that somebody's going to be kind enough, out of compassion and a good heart, to give you their half a million dollar investment just because they like you. It's not going to happen. On the other hand, you don't want to go Amway on these people either. I'm in real estate, I'm in business, yeah, I'm needy, desperate. Don't do that. I'm going to teach you a combination of three things that will make you an absolute real estate rock star. You ready for it? It's a combination of three things. Let me wipe this out. Is this helpful? Good stuff? All right. For you rock stars, if your follow-up is not up to par, you're losing money, you're losing business, you're not helping people. Fix it. Keep in touch with everybody all the time. We'll do another training session just to follow up, but that's for the next one. All right, so here's the combination. C plus C plus GW. Confident, competent, goodwill. And it is the goodwill that will start opening the doors for you. So instead of needy, I need business, I need listings, I need help, I'm new. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to put their neck on the line, especially with a new agent. Most people don't do it with experienced agents, let alone a newbie. So it's going to be the goodwill part of the formula that will unlock the doors and open their hearts to you. But you still need to back it up with competence and confidence. That means you need to know something. You need to know how to get a house sold before you can come up to somebody and say, hey, let me help you sell your house. You need to know how to find the right property for the right buyer, how to negotiate the contract before you have the balls, and before you have the right to come to a buyer who says, I want to represent you, I want to help you find the right house. And you also need the confidence. It is the number one quality, and if people are not doing business with you, the problem is here. See, I remember when I told you at the beginning, I can take something complicated and break it down to something that's simple and easy to understand and easy to identify where the problem is. Is it your competence, is it your confidence, or is it lack of goodwill? Because rather than hoping and waiting and demanding and being entitled to business, nobody gives a shit. 
You start with you, you spreading the goodwill, you giving out information, you being helpful, you being the guide, you being the authority. Watch what I do now. I come here almost daily to inspire you in the mornings, right? The short little live videos, teaching you, answering your questions, helping you. And I mean this genuinely, I'm not holding back. There is no information like, mm, I'm not going to tell you about this. This is my secret. <laughs> There's no such thing. Whatever I feel would help you, would push you, would earn you more business, I'm here to share with you. Now, how come you charge for the bootcamps, Borino? It's a system you're getting where I will invest time to really guide you through the entire process. You get the book from us, you get the coaching. There's another reason. Seriously, hear me on this. You perceive information differently when it's free than when you pay for it. And the fact that you have to pay for it means you're going to show up to the training sessions, you're going to do the homework, and you... God willing, we'll actually get some results. Make sense? I know from experience, guys. If I don't pay for it, I'm like, ah, that's pretty helpful. I'll do it later. Let's have a cup of coffee. I'm just as guilty. Trust me, I'm not pointing fingers. All right. So sphere, good. Referrals, good. All of that is good. But you must, must, must start with this one. Goodwill. Provide value first, be helpful first, be a guide first, be an advisor, connect people. Somebody needs a handyman, you know somebody who can help. Somebody needs help with their roof, you know somebody who to call to. Be the resource first, be the authority first. People come to me all the time and I so appreciate it and I love answering your questions and helping you. Please keep doing it. That's why I started the Rockstars. That's why I started this group, what, four or five years ago. So that you guys have one place where we can all get together like in a nice coffee shop and chat and see, what do you need help with? Where can I help you? That was the whole idea, the goodwill. And from there, yes, some of you have become students and clients, and I very much appreciate you guys. And for those of you who signed up for the bootcamp, yay, looking forward. Speaking of the bootcamp, th this is the URL. Here it is, goborno.com slash I know I've been talking about it, so if you are interested, go check it out. There's a video that will explain what we're doing. All right, so goodwill needs to be your focus. What you give out needs to be your focus. Then the business will come through the systems we talked about earlier, developing the skills we talked about earlier, learning these things that we talked about earlier. Now with that, no matter where you are, one month in the business, one year in the business, 10 years in the business, doesn't matter. You can make money now. And I tell you, if there's one thing that's going to be in your way, it's not going to be a lack of confidence, communication, competence or goodwill. How long you've been in the business doesn't matter. If there's one thing that's holding you back, there's one thing between the, I don't know, $200,000 and you are here, the one barrier more than any other. Because if you remove that barrier, the only question you're going to be asking yourself is how? How do I get there? The only barrier that's standing in your way, let me switch the camera here, is this. Beliefs. You are hitting a barrier of beliefs that it's too hard, I'm not cut out for it, the market is too competitive, I don't know enough, I'm not good enough, uh, it's too complicated, it's too expensive. You're hitting this barrier. You remove this belief, then it's just a matter of how. What is my next step? Now, it's not going to be a straight line, guys. Life doesn't work that way. It's going to be go here, then go here, then here, then there's a little detour and little shit hits the fan, then you go back, then you go here, and then you hit it. But you can. You can. Yes? Stop it. All right. So now, let's go back to Mr. Jason, who had a question. Speaking of people who come through your open house, what would you sound like trying to get their contact information? I prefer using my iPad and simply handing it to them, but I don't think I sound very smooth asking for it. Jason, very good question. Now, this is the technique that my man David Serpa, who I respect and love, great agent, team leader, very successful guy, perfected. Here is how it goes. You're at the open house. First, you have a conversation with people. Notice that everything I teach you guys comes back to confident communication, making somebody feel comfortable with you, just chatting, just having a good time. So you don't need to pounce on them, but here's a simple strategy. You don't need fancy iPads, you don't need any of that. You simply hold a notepad and a pen. And as you're talking to them and they say, 
well, you know, this is not a perfect nazi. You say, not right. This is not exactly what you guys are looking for. Uh, what would work for you? Talk to them. Well, you know, we would like an extra bedroom because my mother-in-law. Ah, okay, cool. And the yard. We need a bigger yard. Gotcha. So bigger yard, more bedrooms. Would this area, general area, work? Do you have kids? This school district is good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This would be perfect. Now, here's what you do next. Watch. So you guys said, observe. I'm holding the notepad, writing it down. You said you would like, instead of three like this one, four bedrooms. Bathrooms are cool. Bigger yard. Same school district. Quiet street. Um, anything else? Well, you know, if possible, we would like to have a spa or a jacuzzi or something. Ah, cool. That would be fun. Friday night in a jacuzzi. Cool. So what's the best email? Where can I send you these listings? Now watch what I'm doing. I don't go look up. I don't hope. I don't ask a question. It's a command. It's a neuro-linguistic programming command. I simply ask, what's the best email? Where can I send you these listings? And I expect them to give it to me. That's why I'm holding it and there's a tension building. They say, well, it's uh, borino at xpacplus.com. And you write it down. Cool. And the best phone number to reach you. You follow me? That's what you do. With a little bit of practice, you can totally master it. Yes? Helpful? Really easy, very powerful, very effective. All right. Yeah, Grace says, I wonder what Lorenzo is up to nowadays. I don't know. I, Last time I checked on him, and we kind of, we didn't really become friends, but kind of got to know each other because we were competitors, but kind of cool about it. Plenty of business out there. He got heavily into flipping and investing. Whether he still does it or not, whether he's still there or not, I really don't know. I don't even remember his last name, frankly, so it is that. Perge says, yes, this is very good. Karen says, beliefs are my downfall. I need to listen to Mind Matrix more. Yes. By the way, speaking of Mind Matrix, you guys who are signing up for the bootcamp will get my special bonus because so much of that rides on your mindset. Is I developed a program because just like you, I struggled with it. Money is hard to come by. Real estate is difficult. I'm not too good. All that. Subconscious beliefs. So I created this audio program just for myself, like affirmations with some music and some hypnosis to start reprogramming it with repetition. So you're going to get a copy of that. It's called My Matrix Plus. You can buy it. It's 150 bucks. But for those of you guys who show the good faith and come do the boot camp, you will get it for free. It's my special bonus. It's part of it. Okay? You also get this book, the Fizzball book. Let's see. Do I have one here? Yeah, yeah I do. So I'll teach you how to do Fizzballs. Give me four weeks and you will know how to do Fizzballs. You will see that 70% of Fizzballs list with an agent. Once you follow the process, it is not that complicated. You still have to do it. You still have to master some of the steps and communication and all that. But easy listings compared to all these other things. Guys, you're not waiting six months, 12 months for a lead to convert like many of the Facebook leads and other lead generation sources force you to. Okay? So I grad, grad you brought that up. All right. Leslie's enjoying it. Everybody's learning. Good. Angie says, yes, thank you. Excellent. Good. Guys, thank you for being here today. I would love to have you in my boot camp. Come sign up. Go check it out, goboring.com slash Fizzball. If you've taken the bootcamp, come do a refresher with me. You will know what to do. I will teach you. I will get you up to speed. Goboring.com slash Fizzball. And come back tomorrow. We're going to have another live. We're going to share another tip, another idea to inspire you, to help you. I want you to not fall in the trap of, well, the holidays are coming, the Walmart is rolling out Christmas. That means we must be just around the corner from Halloween. <laughs> Right? That's crazy. Um, nobody's moving. People are not selling. Everybody wants to wait until the holidays are over. And I'm here to tell you bullshit. Check your MLS. How many homes have you, have you seen listed today? How many list, listings have hit the market last week? How many are going to hit this week? How many new transactions? How many buyers will sign a contract this week? How many agents will get paid? You want to have good Christmas? Good holidays? Good end of the year? First, mindset, business is out there. Will some people want to wait? Yeah, there'll be less motivated people, less urgency than others, sure. But if you look for data, check your MLS. Homes being sold, homes being listed, buyers making offers, come get some. And if you want my help, I'm here to help. Whether you just come to the live or you want to sign up for the bootcamp or get one of my systems, I have a whole bunch of things to help you to turn you into real estate rock star. That's my mission. That's my job. Okay. Thank you very much. Seeing some friendly faces, some students who've been with me for a while and some new faces. Good to have you guys. 
you're in the right place. Don't listen to all that nonsense that confuses you. Here you're going to get it straight, simple, implementable, doable, and effective. All right? And with that, Coach Bruno signing off. Have a fantastic rest of the day, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Let's go get him. Ciao! Thank you.